Welcome back to another Hack the Box CTF challenge video. In this video, we'll be walking through the forensics challenge, Market Dump. Let's get into it. We have got informed that a hacker managed to get into our internal network after pivoting through the web platform that runs in public internet. He managed to bypass our small product stocks logging platform and then he got our customer database file. We believe that only one of our customers was targeted. Can you find out who the customer was? All right, so there's multiple ways you can attack this problem. Let's get started by first going to the actual PCAP file itself. It's called marketdump.pcapng. And then we're gonna go to statistics, protocol hierarchy, and you're gonna notice that there's some telnet data we can sort by. Whenever I see telnet data, I usually like to look at that one first because it usually has some pretty good stuff in it and it's always in plain text. So let's apply that as filter. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom and select the last packet here, and we'll do a right click follow TCP stream on it, you're gonna notice that there's a netcat listener being launched on port 9999. Well, if that's the case, we can easily use that as a filter by doing tcp.port equals 9999, like so. Now with that in mind, <clears throat> all we have to do is cycle through the packets here until we find something that has some plain text in it. And right here we can see what looks to be some output from a Linux terminal here, listing of directories, it seems. So we can right click, follow TCP stream. You'll see customers.sql. So that's probably the file that was getting stolen. Well, the information from that file that was getting stolen. And if we scroll down, you'll see there's a bunch of card numbers. Now, if you keep scrolling down, you're gonna notice, did you see it? There was one card number that was longer than the others, right there. And that looks like some encoded text, which seems very suspicious, right? So we're gonna copy that, and we're gonna go back into CyberChef over here in our browser. And we're going to supply that as input. Now, don't be fooled, this is not base64. I can't remember which one it is, but we can type in magic and let that determine it for us. And it ends up being base58. And our flag ends up being don't run as root messed up market. And that's all there was to this challenge. So we'll right click, copy that. And then we'll select submit flag here. Paste it in, give it a rating. What I did in the last challenge is I rated it a one, but I realized that some of these challenges could be a lot easier or a lot harder. And the number of user solves doesn't necessarily dictate how easy it is because the last challenge only had like 79 solvers and I think I was the 80th one. And it was fairly simple to do. So I'm going to just give all of these a neutral rating from now on five, which I think is fair. So we're going to go ahead and submit the flag. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.